From the moment they entered the house, the coaches have controlled this game. But tonight, all the power lies in the hands of their players. Welcome to Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother. Surprise twist brought four legends back into the house to coach 12 new house guests. Daddy's home. They haven't come here to compete against you. They will be coaching you. At the draft, each coach chose three players to mentor all summer long. Your fate now rests in the hands of your players. <laughs> At the first competition, Willie was crowned head of household. Congratulations, Willie. And Jody was sent packing. While Janelle and Brittany joined forces. I'm totally on board for us okay. teaming up. Head of household Willie made an alliance with Frank. I have to know that for sure that you're not going to vote me out next week. You've got my word. But Janelle and Brittany pushed to get Dan and Boogie's strongest players on the block. Who does Dan not want to lose? Kara. Kara. And who does Boogie not want to lose? Frank. Frank. And at the nomination ceremony, I nominated Kara and Frank for eviction. Willie went back on his word. Boogie urged Frank to keep his cool. The first thing you do is figure out how to get good with Willie. And he took his coach's advice. I don't want to go after you. I like Frank, and my problem is with Boogie. He's my threat, so I'm going to have to figure out what to do. At the first veto competition of the summer, <laughs> Another one of Britney's players claimed power. Congratulations, Shane. You have just won the golden power of veto. And the house flipper decided not to flip the house. I have decided not to use a veto today. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? And who will become the new head of household? Plus, tonight, tempers explode and all hell breaks loose. You gonna chop my head off too next week, Willie? Yeah, I told you, I said, we'll work from week to week. And then you're gonna come throw me in the dirt? It all happens tonight, live on Big Brother. <laughs> and welcome to the first live eviction of the summer. It's already day 13 in the Big Brother house and the battle lines have been drawn. Moments after the coaches picked their players, Boogie approached Dan in an attempt to form an alliance. Sensing Boogie was up to his old tricks, Janelle teamed up with Brittany to take the boys and their players down. Willie, the first head of household, took the advice of his coach Brittany and nominated Frank, the unemployed Big Brother superfan, and Kara, the playmate for eviction. So, will Boogie be losing a player or will Dan watch as his second player of the season walks out the front door? We'll find out live tonight. But first, the coaches may think they're controlling the house, but they should know more than anyone that it's the players who control this game. I have decided not to use a veto today. This veto meeting is adjourned. <sighs> Sorry, man. It's in my best interest. I decided to stick with Willie's nominations. I don't want new blood on my hands, and I don't want new blood on Willie's hands. Hopefully this showed Willie that we can go far in this game together as an alliance. Give me a hug. It sucks being on the block, but I'm all cried out. I need at least five votes to stay in the house. If it's a tie, it would be four and four, and Willie would have to break the tie. Come on in. Willie put me on the block. 
And Shane had the chance, but didn't take me off the block. I definitely feel as though Willie is the key for me to get the boats to stay here this week. I don't trust anybody in this house as much as I trust you. You're still good to stay in this house. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get you your votes this week. The only way that it would stop is if you run around and start talking to people. I know that. If you would turn on me, I'd vomit. I'm not out there campaigning for votes right now. Yeah. I'm in a position where I believe whatever I really want to happen is going to happen. Yeah. You getting me these votes this week proves to me that you wanna work with me. You can trust me. I want Frank to stay in this house because um, later on down the road, he might help me. I have an alliance, so I have to convince them that the best move for them in this game is to keep Frank. I think I can work these people in any which direction I want to go in. The main th reason why I wanted to talk to y'all too, I just want y'all to realize that, you know, we got to, you know, do this and stick together. So we need to figure out as a group, collectively, who we need to get rid of. The team game. I would probably keep Karen because I, they're down a number. If you look at it at an individual game, I think Frank would be a better ally. Because he is strong. He is strong. If we get rid of Kara, Dan, all he has left is Danielle. And if we get rid of Danielle, he goes home yeah. too. And Dan, the guy has like magic powers. Like when he talks to you, you hear an angel chorus and everything sounds so sweet. Kara's so impressionable because Dan is so good. Kara is playing Dan's game. See, that that's the difference between Frank and Kara. Kara is definitely putting some of us up next week because Dan's going to make her. Dan can't be trusted. That's the best move because that, that right there, I, I'm, I'm on board with that 100%. Yeah, looks like Kara's going home, so I think I got my way in this one. I've had so many shots to beat you now that I don't yeah. deserve to win. Yeah. Everything's wet. Yeah, it's wet over here too. If Kara goes home, I don't want Dan gunning for me, so I've got to make sure that I'm in good with him. I don't know why, but they really, really, really want to keep Frank. It's just stupid. You're never going to get Frank out of this house. These people are stupid. I thought for sure that Frank would be leaving, but they're so dumb. It just sucks because we definitely have to go with the majority of the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Janelle has been spending a lot of time talking to Dan lately, so this is definitely throwing up some red flags for me, and I'm starting to suspect that Janelle believes the grass is greener over on Dan's side right now. We gotta shut up. can make you really paranoid. I noticed that my picture has a keyhole next to it, as do the other coaches, and I start to think, maybe the coaches are going to be entering the game as players. So I'm starting to suspect that there's a big twist coming in the game. I have to talk to you about something. What? I don't want you to say anything to anybody. Okay. Do you swear? Yes. You're freaking me out, though. You should be freaked out. I think that the coaches are going to come into the game to play for ourselves. Remember how when we first moved into the house, the board had four faces covered? They could have easily just covered up the top four and not made keyholes beside them. Think about the numbers. There's not enough people in the game right now. This is the week one. Ten people after week one. Nine people after week two. Nine people is jury. Yeah. I think we're going to go to evict somebody and Julie's going to say, whoa, everybody, surprise, the coaches are going into the game. And I think Janelle knows that Dan's going into the game. That's why she partnered up with them, because her and Dan are going to go into the game together. Don't tell anyone else, seriously. Yeah, this changes everything. It's going to kill me if y'all go into the game. I think it's going to happen. If that's the case, I'm... If the coaches come back into this game, they're definitely not going to be looking out for our best interests. I'm not going to let people control the way I think. I'm nobody's pawn in this game. How you feeling, Joe? I'm doing actually really good. Happy in the game zone. I don't want the game to be on. I want us to just exist harmoniously. I want to have a house meeting with just the, 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 the people. 
They're playing the game, for real. We're gonna go upstairs. Willie decides to call a house meeting. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know how I can stop it. I'm just seeing my entire game go down in flames. You ready? House meeting. Got no, the, house we just meeting. want the, 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 the people. Oh, there, sure, yeah. yeah, have it. I heard the word house meeting, so I got up to walk with them, and Willie yelled at me, no coach is allowed. I don't know what kind of game Willie's playing. House meeting upstairs, guys. Yeah. Tire house. Tire house. No coaches, just to us. If that was one of my players, I would have nixed that. Oh my god. Come on. Let them have their house meeting. Whatever. I just want to let everybody know, I think we're being put against each other by our coaches. And I think that's the dumbest thing in the world when we're in here to win a half a million dollars for ourselves, and we're allowing our coaches to make the decisions for us. We could change this game. We could play like we don't even have coaches in here. Don't allow y'all's coach to make y'all's decision for y'all. If y'all do, y'all are gonna get bit at the end of this game. I promise y'all that. I'm just so tired of feeling awkward because people supposedly are going to coaches or coaches going to people being coaches like, why are, are you, why are you talking up. to that person? That's why are exactly you talking right. to like, I'm tired of people not talking to me because And of they want that. Where is Mike Boogie? That's the real question. Mike Boogie could be leading the meeting for all we know. Yeah, where's Mike Boogie? Another thing is, there is a possibility that them coaches are going to come back in here and play this game. I'm just letting y'all know that. That's a strong possibility. Y'all see them keys by their name? Mm -hmm. Them keys could easily have a key in it. There are key holes next to their pictures. Or 12 ain't the number of people who play this game anymore. That was like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. 14 people play this game, or 13. Your odds go drastically worse. Either way. They'll band together. Yeah, yeah. they definitely will band together. Yeah. Well, I gotta be honest, I think you're playing too fast. It doesn't, no, it's not too fast, dude. But you're yeah. guessing what's gonna happen. I know what's I don't gonna think happen. we can live and guess. I don't know about y'all, but I'm taking a 24 hour break from game yeah. talk altogether. I'm tired of it <laughs> for a second. If they come into the game, they're walking away with one of our $500,000. Coming up, the house explodes in the wake of Willie's new plan. And later, the house guests will be voting live to evict either Frank or Kara. Who do you think will be evicted tonight? Join the conversation to see what other Big Brother fans are saying. Stay with us. Brother, Willie has dropped a bomb, attempting to turn the tables on the coaches. Will it unite the house or ignite a war? I definitely felt better with my chances before the town hall meeting than I did afterwards. And I'm second guessing the way that Willie's playing the game. So I need to talk to Willie, find out where his head's at. Come on in. What's up, boss? I hope that kind of didn't hurt me. Nothing's changed. We have to stay legit with each other. We got to stay strong in this game. Brittany. Hey. Oh, he no, he's cool. He, he come on in. He's just um, wanting to fight for his life. I'm freaking tired. I'm stressed Will came up here and said, I don't want to talk about this game for 24 hours. I'm done with this game. I don't know about y'all, but I'm taking a 24 hour break from game yeah. talk altogether. First, Willie's putting everybody off in the house with this paranoid town hall meeting, and then he's putting me off by mocking Will. I was really rubbed the wrong way. You're fine. What's up, guys? Where are you at with this? I am worried that that meeting might have hurt me more than it helped me. What do you feel about it? I gotta be honest with you, Willie already said he wants two of us to vote for Kara, two of us to vote so that no one can tell who voted and how. Really? 
this is what we were thinking about doing. The voting thing, and I think it's really smart because then they, it looks like we are not united as they think yes. we are. We're going to split the vote so that it doesn't look like we all got together and decided on who to vote out. That's how sneaky he is. That, that gets me a little hot because he's sitting here saying it's a clean sweep to me. Day two, Willie promises me that I won't go up on the block and then I get put up on the block. After that, he comes and tells me he will fight tooth and nail to keep me in this house and get me the votes that I need. But then Joe comes and tells me that he's trying to split the votes. At this point, I don't think I can trust him and I don't think he's somebody I want to work with. Here's what he said about Will too, because you might want to tell Will this at one point. He mocks a voice and he's like, that's, I guess, trying to do it, a Will voice or a gay voice. And he's like, I don't want to talk gay for 24 hours. Upon hearing the news from Frank that Willie was upstairs mocking Will, I was not happy with that at all. That's not part of the game. Willie made fun of your voice or something, like mocked you. Frank come right down and told me. I do not tolerate one frickin' ounce of anybody making fun of anybody. He f***ed up, dude. God, I went, oh my god, yeah. Willie mocking me is gonna come back to bite him in the ass and I'm gonna make damn sure it does. He's making gay slurs, he's making fun of me. Whether it's sexist, racist, homophobic, nobody likes being mocked. I really think Willie is a good person I, and a loyal I guy. I did. I really do feel that way. I didn't make that. I say this because I love you. You're screwed. You're screwed. You have the whole house down there talking about, about you. I just talked to Frank. Frank actually told Joe, and then Joe told Will, that you were mocking him. He said that you go, I'm taking 24 hours off mocking Will. I'm never oh doing that. Oh my God, this house is ridiculous. Oh my God. Frank is the first one to run his mouth. So in other words, he's saying, I gotta go around make a, telling things about Willie to get votes. I, I'm trying to save his ass. He's literally downstairs trying to turn the entire house against you. I mean, this is crazy news to me because I had his back this whole time. It's pissing me off big time. I mean, he's, I don't know what his agenda is, but um, we're gonna have to get to the bottom of it for sure. I've been trying to save you all week, man. I mean, is that all the way true? All week, dude. I've been begging everybody to keep you in this house. But Don't f with me right now, brother. Well, I'm just trying to have a real talk with you, man. There's no need to raise your voice. I've been trying to save your ass, and you're gonna come sl sling my name in the dirt and, let, and make me look like I'm a f idiot? You gonna chop my head off too next week, Willie? I wasn't gonna chop your head off next week. I told you, I said, we'll work from week to week, but and then you're gonna come throw me in the dirt? Willie. Listen. I've been doing everything for you. Day number two, you said, I promise you will not go on the block, and I'm on the block. That's all I gotta say. Whenever I know <laughs> going willy-nilly and it, it might be a four or five vote which could switch either way, I gotta protect myself. This is my game, Willie. I told you a thousand times, just be quiet this week, you're okay. But look, and you kept it doesn't matter what mouth. you tell me to do, because it's my game. Just you're like right. you don't want the coaches you're to play right. their you're game, right. I'm not going right. to let you play it's my a, game. It is your game. And I, you kept messing up your game, so I kept on trying to help you out in your game. I don't know what I did wrong to you, except do everything in my power to keep you in this house. You know, you did not, because you wanted... I did not. You wanted some of Janelle's players to vote against me, so you would look good, and I'd go after them next week. Truth or truth or not? This is getting bull right here. But you I would... hope you go home this week. Okay. I hope everybody changes their votes, and you go home because you a shady. I'm not a shady. I'm a straight talking. I speak nothing but I the truth. I hope you stay, baby, because he's a piece of. But hey, I come hope on you now. Stay. Why you gotta attack me like that? I'm not gonna be awkward. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not and when gonna I be awkward either. This, when I come in and get something to eat, I'm gonna sit down there and eat some food, Fruit Loops or whatever, because I'm a, because that's what I want to do. And I'm gonna come out here and smoke, and I don't give a f who's out here. Eat your Fruit Loops. I ain't worried about it. Well, two people are knocked out. Me and you. Congratulations. I might not be knocked out. Whoever wants to vote for her, please vote for her. 
Whoever wants to vote for me, vote for me. And whoever wants to vote for Kara, vote for Kara too. I'm all right with that. Willie, are you the boss of all these people, or what? Like, what, who who died and left you boss? Dude, why do I'm, you Why do you get to tell to everybody what to do? I'm telling you what I'm saying, Boogie, is the fact that I'm not gonna stay up there and have people saying I'm saying things and that I didn't say it. You go. Dog. You can go do your thing, Boogie. I ain't got no I'm time. I'm gonna go get some Fruit Loops and I'll eat my salmon up in here too while you eat your Fruit Loops. <laughs> you all gonna get bullied by him? You gonna bullied? Let him come in here and bully everybody? Cause, cause I'm his bullying brother was them? on a reality How show. How am I bullying them when I tell them not to follow you to the end so you can cut their neck off? Just let everybody vote how they want to vote. Exactly. Yeah. Unreal, dude. Coming up, it's the live vote and eviction. Frank or Kara? Who will be sent packing? Plus, there's another big surprise for the Big Brother coaches. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. This has been one of the most volatile weeks in Big Brother history. Let's go to the living room and see how the house guests are holding up. Hello, house guests. Hi. Well, your first week has been exciting, to say the least. Jojo, I'm going to begin with you tonight. Yay. <laughs> What's the mood in the house right now, Jojo? Oh uh, why you gotta ask me this one? Um, I'll be honest, it's a little weird, you know, a little tension. Um, I, I didn't think it'd be like this the first week so soon, you know? That's what we were saying behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, let me turn to you. As a super fan of the game, has your time in the house lived up to your expectations? Uh, absolutely. I haven't been bored once. I'm having a great time. Bring on the slop and have not room. I could do it all 75 days if I had to. We might quote you on that. <laughs> Will. Hey. Hey, hey. Hi. Give me just one word to describe the past 13 days. <laughs> and I'm, it has I'm to be go clean. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, Oh, goodness. That's what I'm going to go with. That's okay. too technically, but oh well. Okay. <laughs> Ashley, yes? what's the one word you, you would use to describe <laughs> the past 13 days in the house? Lucy Goosey. That's two words. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Um, Willie. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually going to say, how about one word to describe your reign as head of household? I didn't really want this position to begin with. Uh, this isn't what I wanted, but it's been... Um, One word to describe your reign. <laughs> <laughs> just extreme, just, uh, the, just no, just pressure. Pressure. Okay. All right. Hi, Boogie. Yo! <laughs> what are we doing here, Julie, again? I don't know. It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> but here's my question to you tonight, Boogie. Which is harder, playing this game as a house guest or playing this game as a coach? Hands down coaching because you have to take care of three players. You also have to take care of yourself and the contest, some of them you can't be in. So, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Hope for the best. Well, everybody, it's now time for the first live vote and eviction of the summer. Frank, Kara, in just a few moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict live. But before they do, you each have one last chance to plead your case. And Frank, you're up first. I want to start off by saying it's been an absolute pleasure to get to, get to know all of you so far. And I've enjoyed every minute of these last 13 days. And I just hope and pray that it's not over for me. As far as your voting goes, I think everyone knows how hard I fought to make it into this house. And if you vote to keep me in, I'll fight just as hard to protect you. Nobody should let a bully dictate how they play this game or how you vote. Because bullying is not okay outside this house or inside this house. And if your coaches are telling you to get rid of me, think about what's best for your game. But if they're telling you to keep me, please listen to your coaches. <laughs> 
Pretty smooth, Frank. Pretty smooth. Thanks, Jules. Kara, it's your turn. Okay, I played an honest game, and I just want to remind you guys, you're not playing as teams, you're playing as individuals, so vote for who you think will get you farther individually, and just know that someone on your team has made a final deal with the person you're trying to save. And that's it. Thank you, Kara. Thank you both. It's time for the live voting to begin. The two nominees are not allowed to vote. Neither are the, two, are the coaches. Willie, as current head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote to evict. Danielle, you're up first. Please go to the diary room. Danielle and Kara are close friends and they share the same coach. It's in her best interest to keep her in the game. Hi, Danielle. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Frank. Thank you. Thanks. Shane has been on board with Willie from the beginning. So how would the recent fight affect his vote? Hi, Shane. Hi, Julie. How are you? Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Joe was the sole voice of dissent at Willie's house meeting. Will he use his vote to make a statement against the HOH? Hi, Joe. Please, Julie. Yes. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Kara. Thank you. Ian and Frank are both being coached by Boogie. Ian should vote to keep his teammate Frank in the game. Hi, Ian. Hello, hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict the lovely Kara. Thank you. The vote is two to evict Frank and two to evict Kara. The rest of the house guests cast their votes live when we return. Stay with us. are voting live to evict either Frank or Kara. With two votes each, it's currently a tie. Let's continue with the live vote. Jojo is strongly aligned with Willie. Will she do his bidding tonight and send Frank home? Hi, Jojo. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. Hey, I vote to evict Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Jen has laid low and avoided all the drama, but now she must take a stand. Hi, Jen. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I sadly vote to evict Kara. Thank you. Thank you. Will has made it clear he is no friend of Willie's, but is keeping Frank the best move for him tonight? I will. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. Unfortunately, I vote to evict Kara. Thank you. Ashley's vote will either send Kara packing or send a tiebreaker to Willie. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. This has been such a hard decision for me, but I vote to evict Kara. Thank you. Thank you. are in. Let's give the news to the house guests. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather his or her belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of five to three, Kara, you are evicted from the Big Brother house.
Kara, you seem to have avoided all the drama this week, yet here you sit evicted. Yeah. Why do you think? I think a bunch of different reasons. I think part of it was because people were scared of Dan because he's my coach. I think they were threatened by him. I think pe certain people's alliances. I don't know. What did, you, what did you think of Dan as a coach? Dan was a great coach. I think he's incredible. He's smart. He's a great player. I think I had the best coach possible, minus the fact that I'm sitting here. When Willie nominated you, he said, you know, we really haven't had a chance to talk. You said so yourself that you're a shy person. Do you think being quiet in this game cost you the game? Maybe a little bit. I think I should have gone to him sooner. Um, you know, Dan was kind of like, you know, don't go talk to him, lay low. And in the back of my head, I kept thinking I should go talk to him, I should talk to him. And I wish I had, but you know, I can't change anything now, so. Well, Kara, in the event that you were the one voted out tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages. Let's listen. Okay. Kara, if you're watching this, I am so, so sorry you're gone. I wish the best for you, girl. You're an amazing person inside and out. Um, I love you, girl. Kara, you got the looks, but you ain't got the game. You weren't willing to get in the trenches. You got to be willing to go deep, get in the mud, play it round, roll in the sand. You weren't willing, and it's why you're on the outside. I love you. You look good. Go back to modeling. Kara, I'm so sad to see you go. Uh, I'm going to miss those long legs. You make everyone feel welcome. Good luck, and again, I'm going to miss those legs. <laughs> Kara, if you're seeing this, I have to take some responsibility. As a coach, I let you down, and I don't take that very lightly. I'm just sorry to see you go. Well, Kara, you should know that you have your supporters out there. Even Hugh Hefner tweeted, go Kara. Yay! <laughs> and we wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing. Want to see what other fans are saying? Join the conversation on Twitter. Coming up, no one is safe in the house and everyone is ducking for cover. Sounds like a perfect time for the next Head of Household competition. We'll play it live next. Stay with us. Last night, the house guests were woken up with some startling news, and what they witnessed will be the key to becoming the next head of household. The hell? This is a BBTV special report. Reports of a cat burglar loose in the Big Brother house have been confirmed. We have acquired this surveillance footage of the perp in action. We'll be updating you throughout the night. Oh, Miss our God. news SOS. What? It could cost you the HOH. All right, bedtime boys and girls. Oh, no way. This just in. It seems our burglar has a healthy appetite for law-breaking. Nasty. I can't believe they're giving us an all-nighter like this. <laughs> Boogie's so happy. This just in. Now that's what I call one very smooth criminal. He needs to wash out that shaving cream. This just in. date on milk or crime. This is so gross. Stay tuned for more updates as they arrive. Told you I'll lock the doors. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the live head of household competition. Free from the threat of eviction, the HOH must put two nominees on the chopping block. Who will be the new head of household? Let's find out. House guests, 
the power is up for grabs. Willie, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. As usual, neither are the coaches. This competition is called Big Brother Break-In. Break -in. And I hope you paid close attention to the broadcasts that kept you up all night. I will now ask you a series of questions based on what the burglar did in those broadcasts. For each question, you will have to decide if the burglar was either guilty or not guilty. Get the answer correct, you stay in the game. Get the answer wrong, you're out. The last house guest standing will be the new head of household. Does everyone understand? Yes, Julie. Yes, yes, Julie. Yes. Excellent. Then let's get started with the first question. The burglar is accused of stealing a carpet tile. Guilty or not guilty? Answers, please. The correct answer is guilty. Everyone got it right. Everyone reset. We move on to question two. The burglar is accused of taking a total of two bites of food while in the storage room. Guilty or not guilty? Answers, please. I need an answer, Joe. The correct answer is not guilty. The burglar took three bites of food while in the storage room. Sorry, Shane. Reset, step down, everyone reset. We move on to question three. The burglar is accused of shaving his right leg. Guilty or not guilty? Yes, I will repeat it. The burglar is accused of shaving his right leg. Guilty or not guilty? Answers, please. The correct answer is guilty. Everyone except for Will and Frank. Will and Frank are the only two who got it right. Everyone else reset and stepped down. Question four. While attempting to steal a sneaker off the shelf, the burglar is accused of not wearing a hat. Guilty or not guilty? Answers, please. The correct answer is guilty. You both got it wrong, which means you both stay in the game. Reset, moving on. After drinking the milk, the burglar is accused of not putting the cap back on the container. Guilty or not guilty? The correct answer is not guilty. You both got it right. Reset, moving on to question six. While doing the robot dance, the burglar is accused of not wearing gloves. Guilty or not guilty? Answers, please. The correct answer is guilty. Congratulations, Frank. You are the new head of household. Willie, please pass on the key to the HOH bedroom. Up next, it's time to throw a wrinkle into the coach's game. Stay with us. Brother, let's rejoin the house guests. Hello, house guests. Hello. Hi. Frank, congratulations on becoming the new HOH. How do you feel right now? You know, Jules, it feels great to go from the hot seat to the guy that's going to be upstairs next week. And at least I know I'll be safe for one more week. <laughs> you bet. You bet. Boogie, how do you feel right now about your player? taking all the power. I'm super elated. I mean, my man was out the door 48 hours ago and uh, for him to come back and win head of household. And I just thank the people that voted for him and he'll pay back the loyalty and support for sure. 
And I'm moving up to the penthouse too, baby. <laughs> Chilltown North. Chilltown North. <laughs> Janelle. Yes. This is your third time in the Big Brother house. Yes. How does this first week compare to your past experiences? Um, I feel like we played three weeks of Big Brother in the first week. It was so much gameplay and so much going on. It was absolutely nuts. Usually, usually everyone knows who's kind of leaving. It was up in the air to the last minute. It's a crazy game we're playing yeah. here. Yeah. Well, coaches, I have some news for you. This week, we're raising the stakes in the Big Brother house. The coach that wins this week's coaches competition will have an even bigger decision to make. Listen carefully, coaches. Coaches can either keep one of their players safe or they can choose to trade one of their players for another coach's player. And everyone is eligible to be traded except the head of household. Booyah! <laughs> I'll leave you with that, house guests. Bye, Good night, everyone. Who will Frank nominate for eviction? And will the new twist for the coaches shake up the game? Find out Sunday at 8, 7 central. Then Wednesday at 8, will the power of veto save one of the nominees? And I'll be back one week from tonight at 9 for the next live eviction. To follow all of the drama in the Big Brother house, log on to CBS.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. And don't forget, Big Brother After Dark airs live each night on Showtime 2. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. Don't miss Person of Interest, CBS Next.